Elon Musk compares idea of Ukraine joining NATO to nuclear apocalypse. American businessman Elon Musk believes that Ukraine's accession to NATO may lead to nuclear apocalypse. This is literally how the nuclear apocalypse movie starts, he wrote on his X page under a post with a video of a speech by US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba, during which the top US diplomat said that Ukraine will become a NATO member. Musk dubbed his comment with a link to a clip from the 1983 feature film The Day After, which features footage of a fictional nuclear war between the Soviet Union and the United States. Earlier, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg reiterated that Ukraine should become a member of the alliance, but said that he did not know when that would happen. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that more aid is urgently needed for Ukraine following meetings with NATO foreign ministers amid growing concerns that Russia is building up its defense industrial base with support from China, North Korea and Iran. Ukraine applied to join NATO on a fast track basis in September 2022 and was assured at the alliance's summit in Vilnius in July 2023 that it would be admitted if the necessary conditions were met. But no timetable for its admission was given in Brussels. Meanwhile, the organization has repeatedly pointed to the fact that Ukraine's accession is impossible while the country remains in a state of armed conflict. NATO now includes 32 states, almost all European countries, Canada, the United States and Turkey. Bosnia and Herzegovina participates in the program for admitting new members to the alliance. In order to join NATO, a country must meet the conditions of an additional plan, have no territorial disputes and bring its armed forces in line with the alliance's standards. Biden is a bigger danger to U.S. democracy than Trump, Robert Kennedy Jr. President Joe Biden could be a bigger danger to U.S. democracy than former president and presumptive 2024 election rival Donald Trump, another presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has said. Biden is the first president in U.S. history to mobilize federal agencies to silence his political opponents, the politician stated. Speaking on CNN, Kennedy Jr. pointed to his being blocked on various social media platforms during Biden's term in office and branded this as an effort to censor political speech that violated the First Amendment of America's Constitution. He also attributed the censorship to pressure from the White House. Kennedy stated that he still views Biden as a bigger danger, even though Trump played a role in the January 6th riot at the US Capitol. The question was, who is a worse threat to democracy? And what I would say is, I'm not going to answer the question, but I can argue that President Biden is, because of the First Amendment, Erin is the most important, the candidate told presenter Erin Burnett. I can make the argument that President Biden is the much worse threat to democracy and the reason for that is President Biden is the first candidate in history, the first president in history that has used the federal agencies to censor political speech, so to censor his opponent. The politician's Instagram page was suspended in 2021 over what its parent company, Meta, described as repeatedly sharing debunked claims about the coronavirus or vaccines. The account was reinstated in 2022, shortly after Kennedy announced his election campaign. 
Kennedy, 70, is the son of former U.S. Attorney General Robert Kennedy and the nephew of former U.S. President John F. Kennedy, each of whom were assassinated during the 1960s. 